Good evening, people. Hello. It's time to to start. Oh. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Samara. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Caroline. Bueno, vamos a la última semana. Hey, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Nice, Santa. Les, les está saludando, Santa. <risa> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, y al tiche lo podemos disfrazar de Santa. Se parece, <risa> ve. <risa> ok. Ya, el bigote ya lo tengo casi blanco. Casi todo, ya se parece una nieve. <risa> <risa> Pero son bonitas las canas, Ticho. A mí mismo me gustan. Claro que sí. Usted sabe que cuando uno va envejeciendo, las raíces del pelo van profundizando. Y cuando encuentran materia gris, el pelo se vuelve gris. Y cuando no encuentran nada, se cae. Y va quedando <risa> Eso está bueno, teacher. O sea que yo te, ya tengo materia gris bastante porque ya empiezo. <risa> Así es que los calvos. <risa> Pero hay calvos sexys y hay, hay este, canosos también sexys. <risa> no, pero esos calvos se afeitan. <risa> no es natural. Algunos sí, teacher. Pocos, pero algunos. Sí. No, a veces me dan ganas. ¿Y a mí por qué no me deja mi esposa? Yo me quisiera ver cómo me veo pelón. <risa> Rapado. Ok, people. Let's get started tonight. It's time. We are on the last week of this module. Nos piden que les recordemos que ya están recibiendo la documentación. ¿Qué están haciendo? Ay, 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 yo estuve mandando cosas. 
Ya me van a regañar porque sin querer mandé cosas que no eran al chat de inglés corporativo. Error de dedo, teacher. Error de dedo. Ya, <risa> yeah, sí, error de error de vez en tú. Bien, lo que le solicitemos que ya están recibiendo los documentos para la siguiente inscripción. Que les informemos y que consulten con sus departamentos de recursos humanos para saber si ya se las enviaron. Ya la cambiamos fecha... de nivel, dice. Ya cambiamos Bien. de nivel este, el, siguiente, el siguiente módulo. Sí, ya van al pre-intermedio, creo que hay pre-intermedio. Entonces, que la fecha límite de recepción de documentos es este viernes 10 de diciembre. Ok, así es que abusados ahí con, con recursos humanos. Ok mensaje entregado. ¿Cuántos? Ay, ya me están poniendo presentes que ni les he llamado todavía, ya me están escribiendo. Tranquilo, ya vamos a tomar la asistencia. Ahorita tomamos la primera asistencia. Ok. Ok, let's get started with uh, Your camera's on, please. Remember, camera's on. And say present. Miguel Angel Dominguez Santos. Present. Okay. Present. Present. Thank you. Welcome. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Good evening and welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias said sick. Okay, I hope you get well soon. Welcome. Senaida America Dominguez. Senaida, todavía no. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Hey, welcome. Ana Delmi Herrera. Ana Delmi Herrera, not today. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Alejandra Vanessa, not yet. Linda Stephanie Ramírez. Ok. Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Ok, welcome. Nelson Ivan Alfaro. Present teacher. Ok, welcome. Carla Verónica Suria. Present teacher. Perfect, welcome. Uh, Ángel Alexander Guardado. Angel Angel, Najet. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. 
I just, the restaurant is busy. Mayra Roxana Hernandez. Mayra, 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 Najet. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Okay, welcome. Uh, Carolina Jamilet Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Silvia Suleima Rodriguez. Silvia, welcome, Silvia, teacher. okay, welcome. Silvia Enrique Cortez. Present. Okay, welcome. And Joanna Beatriz Orellana. Present, teacher. Okay, welcome, Joanna. Thank you, teacher. Very good. Bueno. Teacher. Hola. Present. Ah, Alejandra Vanessa, ya llegó, ya llegó, ya llegó. Andra Vanessa, ya llegó. Ok, very good. ¿Quién más? Zenaida, Ana Delmi, Ángel, Irma, Mayra, todavía no. No me han puesto presente en el chat. No, Linda, no, Claudia. Ok. Ok, let's get started then with section four. Nine. Here it is. Muy bien. De nuevo, para los que tal vez entraron tardecito, recordarles que ya se están recibiendo los documentos para el próximo, la próxima inscripción y que la fecha límite es el viernes 10 de diciembre. Consulten con recursos humanos de sus empresas. Estén ahí presionando. No, pero de una manera. Ok. Tonight's objective. Ah, también igual, recordarles que para el viernes ya la sección 4 y el final exam ya deben estar completos. I will be okay, able teacher. to, at the end of this section or this lesson, I mean, you will be able to exchange questions and answers about meetings trainings or other word related events using the simple past of B. Ah, pero aquí hay más que el simple past B. Pero el simple past. Hablemos que vamos a estar ahora repasando, recordando el simple past. Okay? Um, Entrémosle uh, directo a la conversation. Uh, talking about this. It's a conversation between Lana and Lorna. Lana and Lorna. Okay, so listen. I'm going to read it first. And then we're going to practice. Together. Listen. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Hey, what is this? Oh. oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, very good. Um, one more time, listen, okay? Listen, pay attention to the 
pronunciation. Hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay. Very good. One question. What is the meaning of CEO? Anybody knows who is the CEO? And what is the meaning of CEO? Chief Financial Officer. Oh, almost, almost, almost. Because it's E, not F, it's E. Oh, director ex executive. Executive. Yes, oh. executive. Yes, correct. But his chief executive officer. Okay, very good. Chief executive officer. That is the meaning of CEO. And is like the top uh position administrative position in a company the ceo okay very good now let's practice the conversation okay repeat after me hey lorna how are you did you attend the training last week Hey Lorna. Hey, Lorna. How, are How are you? you? Did you attend yeah. training last week? Lana, yes, I did. Training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Lana, yes, Lana, I did. The training did. was uh, awesome. It, it was, was at, new at, the new, at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Sounds great. Tell, Tell me everything, everything about it. Was, was it difficult? difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Well, it wasn't well, La, it wasn't that was, it was very but many international speakers came. Many international speakers came. Many international, many international speakers, speakers came. came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? No, no kidding. kidding. Who, Who were the were speakers? The speakers? Oh, uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from. Oh, let's, oh, let's see. see. Andrew Johnson, Andrew Johnson from, from England, England, and, England Magali and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. You are right. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, you have any question with the conversation? Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia awesome? ¿Cómo en la segunda frase de Lorna? Ahí. Awesome. 
all song. song. All song. All okay. Oh, it's like all song. All song. Okay. Yes. All okay. song. Okay. Okay, let's practice uh, one more time. But now you are Lana. No, I am Lana. And you are Lorna. Please try to practice the intonation, okay? Remember this. These are exclamation signs and, well, basically that and questions. Uh, hey, Lorna, how are you? Yeah, so try to read with this intonation. Okay, so I am Lana and you are Lorna, okay? I begin. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. I was at the hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, well, it, it wasn't, wasn't difficult, but it was very challenging. Challenging. Many international speakers came. Oh, no kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's, Ooh, see. let's see. see. Andrew Johnson from, from England. England. And Lisa Nitz from Brazil. I love Miss Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You, you are, are right. right. You are right. Okay, very good, very good. Now let's practice with you being Lena and I being Lorna, okay? So you begin, one, two, three. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. How are you? You attended training last week? Lana, yes, I did. Training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. So great. Tell me everything. What is difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No, no kidding. kidding. Who were the speakers? Who were the speakers? Oh, uh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Gali Sanini from Brazil. Hello, Miss International CEO to visit our company to You are right. Okay, very good. Well, there are three questions here about the about the conversation. Let's see. Number one is, how does Lorna describe the training? Number two, when was the first time Miss Anini came to the ladies' company? And number three, where did the, train, the training take place? Okay. So you're going to practice together in groups or in pairs this conversation. And after that, you're going to respond the three questions, okay? As we usually do. Practice the conversation and then respond this question, all right? Let me send you to your small groups or to the breakout rooms. You are 16 right now, some listeners. Uh, Let's see. Oh. Um.
Walter Segó. Tú y ya Segó. Ajá. Sí. Tú y ya Segó. Dice, where did the training where take did... place? Is at the new hotel. At the new, in the new hotel. It was mm -hmm. at the... Juana. Hi. Hi, Hi Juana. <laughs> no, no, es que no me había dado cuenta, yo estaba aquí clavada. <laughs> Ajá, <laughs> Joana, eh... Practicamos si quiere con yes. usted. Sí. Okay. okay. Uh, hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the um, veamos? Eso de international CEO es otra cosa. Sí, dice. Training. Perdón, compañera. Sí, fue la primera. Fue en un hotel, ¿no? Ajá. Creo que era el hotel. Ajá. Ok. Digo yo, tal vez. Ah, uh, también. Dice, it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. Finish, teacher. Okay, very good. Ya vamos a volver. Okay. Finish, teacher. Okay, perfect. We're about to come back, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, welcome back. I'd like to hear some of you practicing the conversation, okay? Well, 
Let's see. Carlos and Olga, can you please show or practice the conversation? Okay, teacher. Hey, Lorna, who are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. What is difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. Not kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, let's see. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Ms. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You're right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now let's see. Um, I'd like to hear Carla and Miguel. Okay. Miguel. Hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Hi Miguel, are you there? Okay. Hey Lorna, how are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Sounds great. Tell me everything about it. Was it difficult? Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Who were the speakers? Oh, Lexi. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. Hello, Mrs. Sanini. She was the first international CEO to visit our company two years ago. You are right. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, one more, let me see. Please, Marisol and Angel. Okay, teacher. <coughs> you first, Angel. Okay. Hey, Lorna. Okay. How are you? Did you attend the training last week? Lana, yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Some great. Tell me everything about what is difficult. Well, it wasn't that difficult, but it was very challenging. Many international speakers came. No kidding. Two were the speakers. Um, no kidding. I'm sorry. I I confuse. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. let's repeat. see. I'm sorry. Oh, let's see, Andrew. Andrew Johnson from England and Magali Sanini from Brazil. I love Mrs. Seeing she was the first international CEO to visit your company two years ago. You're right. Okay. Very good. 
Um, just let me show you. Let's review, let's have some feedback. Well, these were right. Remember, awesome. Así como also, prácticamente no parece. Awesome. Awesome. The other word is this. Challenging. 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 Esta que ya le varias veces, pero... Que se les olvida un sounds great. <clears throat> sounds great. Acuérdense, no sound. No son ni, ni great. Sounds great. Um, this one. What is the meaning of no kidding? No bromees. No bromees. No ¿En serio? ¿Verdad? Lo pudiéramos traducir así. Oh, kidding. Uh, no, no te creo. No te creo. ¿Verdad? O sea, una expresión de asombro. No kidding. ¿Ok? Como expresión. O sea, podemos traducirla de esta forma. Es diferente si alguien te dice, are you kidding? No, no, I'm not kidding. No estoy bromeando. O sea, yeah, kidding es eso, hacer bromear, ¿no? Pero como esa expresión no kidding, pues es una expresión de eso. Eh, ok, basically. Um, esta palabrita es así, ago. Ago. Two years ago, one week ago, ten days ago. Ok. Muy bien. And now let's take a look to the to the questions quickly. How does Lorna describe the training? Huh? The training was also and okay. challenging. Ah, awesome, challenging, okay. Okay, yes. Um, and, and what is the meaning when you say, uh, well, it wasn't that difficult. It wasn't that difficult. ¿Qué quiso no, decir? No que no es difícil. Que no, ah. no fue tan difícil, muy desafiante. Exacto. No estuvo tan difícil, ¿verdad? No, esa expresión la podemos usar, ese that con diferentes cosas. No, o puedes decir, wow, it, it wasn't that easy. No fue tan fácil. Eh? Or, hablando de una, de, de una, de una comida. Well, it wasn't that, that delicious. Estuvo tan desanoso, tan delicioso. It isn't, ya, o sea, esa expresión, ¿no? Muy bien. Okay, very good. Then the second question, where was the first time Miss Anini came to the ladies' company? Me, teacher. Uh-huh. Miss Anini visit, visited the company two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Ago. Yes. And finally, where did the training take place? The training look place in the new hotel. Okay, in the new hotel, okay.
Perfect. Well, if you see in this conversation, we have different, uh, bold expressions or bold phrases, no? Palabras resaltadas acá. Did you attend the training last week? Yes, I did. The training was awesome. It was at the new hotel. Was, okay, wasn't. No, was, where, was. Okay, that is the past form of verb B. Is the past of B. So, we use the past of B to talk about situations in the past. Right? And remember, we use was for he, she, and it, and where for we, they, you. All right? And we also have here the affirmative form and the negative form. The training was very helpful. It was not or it wasn't difficult. All the employees were happy to attend. We were not or we weren't unwilling to help. So we have the affirmative and the negative form. But let me show you this in another picture. I have something here. Okay, let me show you here. So we have here the structure for was the past form of B, okay? The positive or the affirmative form, positive or affirmative, they were friends. But the structure is, as you see, subject plus was or were plus object. Then, acá no tenemos otro verbo, solo el verbo to be. They were friends. Where then we have the negative. Right. Subject plus was not plus were not plus object. They were not friends. Then I have the structure for yes, no question. Were they friends? So the structure is was or where plus object plus object. No, como siempre decimos, es prácticamente invertir el sujeto con el to be. Y por último, las WH questions. Como también ya hemos mencionado, solo es agregarle la palabra de pregunta a la yes no question. Why were they friends? Why were they friends? Okay. This is the different structure for the verb be. The past form of be. Let me show you, let me share this screen in WhatsApp. Ahí la pueden tener. Okay.
Any question with this? Tenemos acá algunas preguntas. Aquí hay otro párrafo. Read this paragraph below and answer the questions. Tenemos otro párrafo acá. Vamos a leerlo rápidamente. Dice, Marie went to a training in Guatemala last Tuesday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment she uses and how to prevent damages on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified all doubts Mary had. He used a computer to present examples during the speech. And there are six questions about this text. Number one, how was the training? Number two, when was the training? Number three, did you like it? Number four, what did you learn? Number five, was the presenter helpful? Number six, did he use examples? Um, quiero mostrarles antes de que trabajen en esto, solo recordarles también porque estamos incluyendo no solo el verbo to be, sino otros verbos. El pasado con otros verbos aparte del verbo to be. ¿Verdad? Lo que tenemos acá. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I watched series yesterday. Esta oración está en pasado con otro verbo, ¿no? I watched series yesterday. So aquí no estoy utilizando el verbo to be. Entonces, si recuerdan. Las oraciones afirmativas, we only use the, the structure is the subject, luego el verbo en pasado, y luego el object o complemento. He played football, por ejemplo. Para las negativas, subject plus did not. Plus the verb in the base form and the complement or object. He played football. He did not play football. He did not play football. Luego las yes no questions comienzan con did. Subject plus verb. In the base form plus object. Did he play football? Did he play football? Y como hemos dicho siempre también. Las WH questions. Es de agregarle la palabra de pregunta. A la yes no question. Ya. Yeah. Tenemos WH plus D plus subject plus verb in the base. Siempre el verbo ya en las preguntas va en forma básica. When did he play football? Ahí está. La estructura de el simple past con otros verbos. Comparto esto también ahí en el WhatsApp para que eh, lo tenga. Um, Ok, dicho esto, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta ahorita sobre la estructura del, del simple past. 
Si no, entonces hagamos el ejercicio. Respond the questions, ok, about this text. Okay, respondan las preguntas acerca de este texto. Uh, voy a tomar la asistencia antes de ponerlos a trabajar en esto. Y es que eh, luego, luego toman, quedan en, eh, trabajando en esto. Ok, so please. I'm going to take the second attendance. Ready? Respond. Miguel Ángel Domínguez. Present. Thank you. Thank Present. you. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Okay. Thank you. Senaid América Domínguez. No. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Okay. Well, thank you. Ana Delmi Herrera. Mm -hmm. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay. Linda Stephanie Ramirez. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Ana Marisol Mendoza. Present. Good. Nelson Iván Alfaro. Present. Okay. Carla Verónica Suria. Present, teacher. Okay. Ángel Alexander Guardado. Present. Okay. Irma de Los Ángeles Flores. Oh. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Ok. Carlos Alberto Meléndez. Present. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés. Present. And Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present no. Okay. Okay, so take your time and respond to questions for exercise five. And we are going to check together in a few minutes. Remember, raise your hand when you finish, okay? To let me know that you are that you are done.
Hey guys, I'll give you a couple of minutes more only. Okay, I will send you to the breakout rooms, just two or three minutes to compare your answers, okay? Quickly, please compare your answers and then we'll come back. Join your groups, please. Compare your answers. See you in a few minutes.
Hola, Mayri. Hello. Hello. Hello, Xiomara. They are coming back. Sí, we problema y se me cayó el inter. Okay, ya están regresando. No problem. Thanks, teacher. Okay, people, welcome back. Uh, I'd like to hear your answers to this text. Okay. Let me see. There it is. Okay, so how was the training? Maria was to a training. Mary went to a training in Guatemala, left West Bay. No, that is not the No, point. the training was interesting. Interesting. It was it, interesting. The training was interesting. That is the answer. The training was interesting. Okay, number two. When was the training? The training, the training, was, training was, was last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Yes. The last Tuesday. Yes. Uh, do you like it? Yes, I like it. The training. Mm. Yes, she did. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, it it is. Yes, yes I did. Yeah. I did. Yes, I did. Must be yes, I did. What did you learn? How to learn how to fix the equipment. The equipment. And prevent damage. And how to prevent damage on it. How to fix the equipment. And how to prevent damages. Good. Was the presenter helpful? Yes. Yes. Yes, he was really, really helpful. He was. Good. Did he use examples? He was a sample within this text. Aha, but what's the Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Sure done. Okay, okay. Very good. Very good. I want to give you another activity to do. I already sent you some exercise in the chat, but I want you to do this first. Okay, look at these questions. These are real questions about you. 
Pay attention to this, okay? Let me mute your microphones for a moment. Some real questions about you, okay? First, what was your first pet's name? What was your first pet's name? My first pet's name was Perla. It was a little dog. And her name was Perla. Where did you live when you were a child? When I was a child, I lived in San Salvador in Barrio Santa Anita. That's me. What was the name of your first girlfriend in my case? No. Well, my first girlfriend was Ana Maria. What was your first job? Well, my first job, uh, what was my first job actually? What I can consider my first job? Well, my first job was as a salesperson. Um, Selling encyclopedias. <laughs> Number five, when did you graduate from high school? Well, I graduated from high school in 1982. Where did you go on your last vacation? On my last vacation, I went to the beach. To, uh, to what is this? Uh, Atami. What was your favorite cartoon when you were a child? My favorite cartoon when I was a child was um, Messenger. What did you eat last night for dinner? Ah, oh, last night for dinner, I ate, what did I eat last night for dinner? Last night for dinner, I ate, don't remember. What did I eat? Oh, I ate uh, No, it was not. Oh, I ate chicken. I ate some roast chicken. Okay, that's me. So, and that's what I want you to do, okay? First, you are going to respond these questions with real personal information. And second, you are going to interview a classmate and write his or her questions here in a similar chart. So let me share this with you in WhatsApp. So you can practice these questions and answers. Share this in WhatsApp right now. Okay. Trabajemos en esto, lo otro que les puse ahí no lo hagan acá. Trabajemos en este cuadrito. I will give you um, like 10 minutes to respond your questions, okay? Respond individually. Then when you finish that, I will send you to work in pairs to ask a classmate these questions and Take note about your classmate <coughs> answers, okay? So take your time to respond your questions. I'll be here just in case you need help. And when you finish, please raise your hand. But you have 10 minutes.
Okay, people, I think it's time. I'm going to send you to work in small groups to practice the questions, okay? You ask question to your classmate and respond and take notes and then you're going to tell me about your classmate and you. Van a preguntarse, tomar nota de la respuesta de su compañero, ¿verdad? Y luego vamos a platicar de, de eso. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ok, teacher. Go to your groups, please. And practice. More speaking, speaking practice, okay? First, first name was uh, Pirata, yes. was a dog. Was a dog. No se puede, Miguel. Okay, ya. Okay. Okay. Thank you. What's a
Okay, people, welcome back. So we are going to finish now. It's time to stop. We're going to talk about these questions tomorrow, okay? This week, we'll be talking about this 10 simple past. So don't worry. Okay, the last attendance, please be ready to respond. Miguel Angel Dominguez. Okay, thank you for attending tonight. See you tomorrow. Olga Marleni Gomez. Present teacher. Okay, thank you for attending. See you tomorrow. See you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias. Still here, okay. Hope you get well. Uh, Senaida America Dominguez. Present teacher. See okay. you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Hilda Xiomara Soriano. Present teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Alejandra Vanessa Mora. Present teacher. Okay, well, good night. Linda Stephanie. Good night. Gutierrez. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Ana good Marisol night. Mendoza. Present. Okay, good night. Nelson Ivan night. Alfaro. Present. Okay, see you. Carla Veronica yeah. Suria. Present, teacher. Okay, have a good night. Good night. Angel Alexander Guardado. Present, teacher. Okay, see you tomorrow. Irma de Los Angeles Flores. Yeah. Mayra Roxana Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Carlos Alberto Melendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Carolina Yamilet Hernández. Present teacher. Uh, okay, by the way, Carolina, eh, a usted le corresponde la sesión personal ahora. Okay. okay. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Silvia Enrique good Cortez. Night. Present. Good night. Good night. And Joana Beatriz Orellana. Present teacher. Okay, good night. Okay, Caroline. Okay, teacher. A ver, ¿en qué podemos reforzar esta noche? En eso estoy ahorita, que qué es lo que me cuesta. Uh, bueno, no, eh, básicamente yo he entendido hasta lo que hemos visto prácticamente todo. Lo que a mí me cuesta y que estoy por mejorar es la cuestión de... de el, el oído, tener el oído, a veces no entiendo lo que me están diciendo y tal vez no es porque no sepa, sino que porque no tengo acostumbrado el oído. Sí. Bueno, definitivamente. La única manera es escuchando y escuchando y escuchando. Uh -huh. eh, Creo que el módulo pasado le recomendé alguna página de internet, sí. eh, un estilo de música lenta, suave, ¿verdad? Que también uh -huh. ayuda a ir comprendiendo. Um, sí, no hay otra forma realmente de educar sí. el oído, ¿verdad? Para para poder ir eh, entendiendo, ir avanzando. Sí, sí en eso estoy, en, 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 
este, ver la manera de, de cómo mejorar eso, porque en realidad eh, no es que a veces no entienda, sino que yo digo repeat, pero repeat porque no voy, no es que no oiga, no es que no entiendo a veces lo que me dicen porque no, no tengo acostumbrado el oído. Eh, que, um, en YouTube hay muchos, muchos videos. Usted puede empezar a buscar, ¿verdad? Como jóvenes um, para andar escuchando. O sea, sí. Eso es cuestión de que se ponga a escuchar mucho, 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 mucho. Uh, sí, también uh, la, la música me dijo la vez pasada, la, con las letras. Sí, sí, verdad, ayuda, aunque el problema como en las canciones usan vocabulario que no, uno no conoce, que uno no ha visto, uh -huh. eso puede causar complicación. Ah, ok. Verdad, de... pero uh, el... el... La página que le recomendé, el, el hilo o videos de, de, de YouTube para ir escuchando. Voy a, voy a regresar al, al módulo pasado y voy a buscar cómo era la página porque realmente eh, a veces está bien el tiempo que uno no tiene pues para ponerse a, a hacerlo, ¿verdad? Pero sí lo voy a hacer. Hay que vamos a tener un poquito de más tiempo. Sí, sí, se la voy a escribir de nuevo por acá. Es el hilo con tres L. Ok. Sí, ya está. Ah, ok. Oh, sí. Aquí lo voy a uh, en grande. Espérame, espérame, que solo le puse dos L y son tres L. Son tres L. Ah, ok. Y aquí lo copio. Pues. Este es. Eh, ok. Ok, teacher. Muchas gracias. Uh, Entonces se lo mostré. Pero yo creo que lo podemos ver. Uh -huh. No. Ok. Por ejemplo, déjeme buscar. Veamos este, por ejemplo. My Weekend. Ve, aquí tiene un videito. Hola, uh -huh. y son videos cortos. Mire, tres minutos. Man. Sí. Y como están hechos. Según nivel, mira que dice beginner listening, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, están hechos despacio, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Acá está la conversación, lo mismo que se le... ¿no? Son conversaciones cortas. Okay. Tiene un examencito de grammar, de lo que escuchó. Un pequeño quiz de comprensión de la, del audio. ¿Verdad? Entonces, y aquí hay más, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hay bastantes, entonces no sí. son largas, son cortas. Y... Eh, Aquí creo que está solo el audio. Ah. Okay. Ahorita no lo estoy escuchando, pero ahí está el audio. Uh -huh. uh, oh, quiero ver si se puede.
Así es que él le está respetando, él está uh -huh. practicando el oído mucho. Es la okay. verdad. Okay, Entonces, sí. No hay otra forma. No hay otra forma, ¿verdad? A todos nos toca eso. Igual, yo hasta aún en el trabajo me le toca a uno estar escuchando y a medida que uno va escuchando, ¡ah! que el oído se va acostumbrando. Uh -huh. Así es que sí, como usted dice, le dedicar unos minutitos, ¿verdad? De vez en cuando para ponerse a, a, a ver estas cosas, sí. a bajar, a buscar ya que tenemos este recurso uh -huh. para ir educando el oído ok ok, okay. vaya pues eh, Carolina ok teacher muchas gracias bueno a la orden pase feliz noche gracias igual good night good night